Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Growing Policy YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about Jim Beatty, who I had the honor of meeting back in 1992. Now, Jim Beatty was born April 17th, 1933, and he passed away July 9th, 2015. He was a, one of four children, younger Bref, Jeffrey three, sister Laura eight, and he became an American aircraft designer, and he designed well over a dozen different aircraft in his long design career. He designed a lot more than just the Yankee and our other airplanes. Here was one called the Love One. It was a low orbit, velocity, very efficient, called the Love One. And he was going to fly around the world in it without a refueling, carrying a lot of fuel. But he lost his uh, autopilot uh, and electrical system. He had to come back to Cuyacana Airport. So he landed six days early on a six and a half day worldwide trip. But you know, this is back in July of 1967. Tell them about the zipper. <laughs> 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 I thought you'd forget. <laughs> All right, we were drinking yesterday, so I heard a rumor that you tried to use a zipper on a cow on the, on the BD-1 and the Yankee. And I said, yeah, flew around a pattern with it once. Um, <laughs> all right, all right, some ideas don't work. <laughs> we, we had the colleague split right and left, and right down through here, we, we just put a zipper on it. As soon as fast, the whole thing seems complicated. I said, God, you can take a, they got some good, strong zippers. <laughs> uh, it was easy to get to the colleague, and just that when you flew, the whole thing puffed up. <laughs> Now, with Jim and the company, it kept dragging on for certification because they kept making all these changes. So finally, a group of the local businessmen, somewhere between 66 and 68, took over the company, standardized the design, and made 41 changes, took it to the FAA, and got it certified in game production of the Yankee. We know what happened later on. We were eventually bought by Grumman, becoming Grumman American, and that's how we're all called today. Part of why we're so happy to be called the Grumman Pilots Association. I'd like to thank Rich Harrison for helping me provide some of these pictures and information. Hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching, and have a good day flying your Grumman. And in addition, there's a little treat about 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing web work and other stuff. Here's my cat coming down, playing with a mouse and meowing and just having a good time with me in the wee hours of the night. So I thought I'd throw this into you as a little treat. Y'all, please enjoy. 